items that I bought from KC Tool and some from Amazon DE. Got these two catalogs for free in my order with KC Tool. So let's open the catalog up. Okay, I bet you thought I was gonna start from left to right. Nope. I'm gonna start with the Knipex. So this is the high-tech water pump pliers, extra slim, and it does not come in the comfort grip handle. I find myself using this Japanese engineer brand one fairly often because of the kind of needle nose taper on these jaws makes these things really handy. That's how they are for size. And of course the Knipex has much more adjustment for size, whereas the Engineer is very, very basic in it, the adjustment options. And then the Japanese one is made to grip onto the heads of bolts or nuts that are stripped. So here we can see the difference in the machining on the jaws. The Knipex has very fine machining on those jaws. The engineer is a little more coarse. You can get about, you can get, it's like maybe two, two and a half inches on that. That's a look at the Cobra 8751-250, made in Germany. I was not able to figure out if this Ferd was manufactured in Germany. There's nothing on the tool specifically that says it's made in Germany. There's nothing on the packaging that says it's made in Germany. Just the typical indication that the company is German. On Amazon DE, I did find a couple negative reviews about this. They said that this brass part separated from the wood part. You know, if I put a little bit of twisting pressure on this, the, the brass is not moving on here. So I'm not sure how this is connected, if it's uh, threaded inside there or if it's just pressed and glued. I don't know. Brand new, having not used it, it feels, it feels good. It feels solid. Uh, there was somebody who complained about the collet, that it did not clamp down onto the files that he was using. Okay, so here's a two and a half millimeter drill bit. Does it clamp down on this? No. Yes. Okay, three millimeters. So what is the maximum size? Okay, four millimeter does not fit. You might be able to get just a little bit bigger than three and a half, but not by much. So, so those are your limits, three millimeter to three and a half. Let's grab a Swiss file here. Okay, so this Swiss file fits in there very well. Nice, smooth collet, nice and solid. There's no sloppiness, the fit is just perfect. Check the depth on this. So, so that is 50 millimeters or two inches. Right, and then I got some file brushes. This is the Stahl Villa. And this is the Ghidorah. Let's just see if there's differences. You can see the Ghidorah has a nice rounded handle. They drilled a hole through it so you can hang it. The Stahl Villa is very basic. Key right here, it's kind of splintery. Except for this, the quality of the Ghidorah, I think, is better. 
All right, let's go to this hot set brass brush. It says made in Germany. The box says that it is made in Germany, but we see the Roki brand on here. Roki branded brushes, very similar to this that I found on the internet, actually have an overmold on this handle. This handle is just the same hard plastic. It's not a rubberized grip of any kind. It's just hard plastic throughout. This is quite a nice brush. I think this is an upgrade from my Chinese brush. We can see the density of the brass bristles here a little bit better. That is the hot set brass brush. All right, let's take a look at these tools. This is the hot set universal hook and wedge set. And we can see some examples here. And these are more substantial than I thought they were gonna be. Like this one's got flex to it. Just split something open. That looks like a real useful shape. Let's look at this end. This wedge, this one is it's just about an inch thick at its thickest point here. It's an inch wide. Just a simple taper there. The wedge goes down to a finer edge than this tool does. All right, and then this is the hot set. This is the look at the hot set 4964-1. This handle is a hard plastic, but it has, a, it has a nice grippy texture to it. It's not like Swiss grip, it's not rubberized. It's just hard plastic but it's got a nice feel to it. I had a situation where I was trying to pull a spring onto a hook and uh, this would have been real handy to have. And then we've got the panel separation tool. I decided to splurge and get the German hot set 799-4. Yeah, it says it's made in Germany. How does it compare to the Chinese? The size of it, the overall design, the overall construction of it is very similar really similar but if we look closely we can see some differences in the rivets there doesn't appear to be any difference in the thickness of the metal this top fork is bent a little bit differently than it is in the, the Chinese example I don't know it looks like the Chinese one, it comes down to a little bit flatter, finer point. And so this is the hot set. We're looking at the machining and the powder coating on that. The hot set doesn't open as far. Okay, and you can see also the handle doesn't close as far. When I twist the Chinese one this way, I feel a little bit of play, a little bit of sloppiness in that hinge. The hot set is rock solid. This tool feels more solid. It feels more smooth. Spring tension feels the same. It feels just a little more uh, metal on metal gritty. Uh, if, you know, if you know what I mean. 
uh, but it's so subtle. I mean, the differences are so subtle. So you have to decide if those differences justify the price difference between these two. Haul, that wraps up a little bit of a German tool haul from KC Tool and Amazon DE. Affiliate links will be in the description below. And thank you for watching.